Hey guys, uh, welcome to your uh, energy check-in for Libra. Uh, this is going to be for, oh, sorry, the end of your April going into May. You can apply this to any of your placements. So uh, we're going to take a look at your over energies, what's surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys could expect, and then we will see what the possible outcome and advice are. Um, so keep in mind that this could be anything, nothing specific. Um, we're just going to see what the cards have to say. Apply this to your own unique situation. Switch the roles if you want. Um, Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Uh, if this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Um, give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates and for those of you guys that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me the link for that is in the description box below okay so libra let's get started over energies for Libra. what is surrounding libra what does libra need to know what can libra expect for the end of april going into may for april for the end of april going into may i think i said that already okay I just repeated myself. What do we have for Libra here? What do we have for Libra? Okay, we have the Page of Wands here and the Ten of Swords. We have the Four of Pentacles and the Four of Cups. And then we have the Three of Cups and the Page of Pentacles. Okay, it seems like you're dropping the games here or that you're dropping someone who is behaving like a little child, whoever this is, okay? Um, you know, you could be out there meet, meeting new people, dating new people, and I just feel like it might not be working out because they're, you know, they're not on the same maturity level as you, perhaps, okay? It seems like you're dropping these childlike people. All right, um, we have the Four of Pentacles and the Four of Cups here. You know, I feel like, you know, these individuals that you're dealing with here just doesn't really have a lot to give. Like, I feel like you're looking for someone that's going to offer you some sort of something solid, a commitment here, something stable. But I feel like you're not finding that. Even the stable ones that you're, uh, you know, encountering, they're not really offering you a lot. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo with that Page of Pentacles. A Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. Tell me about this Page of Wands. Seems like there's a lot of messages bouncing around. Perhaps you are talking to a lot of people. Uh, for some of you guys, there might be new, uh, uh, like a new job opportunity that's coming towards you. Uh, but the, the, the problem is, I feel like with this new job opportunity, I feel like you, you feel like it's not enough. I feel like you might be looking for more. Tell me about the Page of Wands here. The Page of Wands and the Strength card, Leo Energy. You know, I feel like you're tired of dealing with people that are only looking for sex. Okay? Uh, Ten of Swords. Okay? And, and then we have the Six of Wands. Yeah, you're also tired of people that are just looking for attention. Seems like you've been dealing with people that are not looking for anything serious here. With, with the strength card, Leo energy, could be dealing with the Leo. Four of Pentacles, we have Judgment here, Sagittarius energy, also Scorpio energy. Four of uh, Cups, and then we have the Ace of Wands here. Okay. Um, now, either someone here could be looking for a reconciliation or that you're being awakened to start something new here, okay? Could be something that you push, push to the side and then you're sort of uh, re resurrecting it. This could be a new business idea or something like that, okay? Um, tell me about the Three of Cups here. Why is it Three of Cups here? Oh, and then we have the Ten of Cups. Okay, that looks good. Page of Pentacles, and then we have the Hangman here, Piscean Energy. There is a job offer here, basically, that you're sort of like putting a pin on it, or that you're trying to figure out what to do next with it. Yeah, it seems like there's a job offer that's coming towards you where you feel like it's not enough. And I feel like maybe it's awakening to you to do something on your own here, to start something on your own. 
It seems like there's a lot going on here, okay? And with the Three of Cups and the Ten of Cups, perhaps a lot of you guys might be reuniting with uh, friends or family that you haven't seen in a long time, and this is going to create some sort of uh, happiness with you uh, and these other people that, uh, you're tr that you're trying to reunite with or that you're trying to meet up with. Um, what else do we have here for Libra? I'll come in advice here for Libra. What else does Libra need to know for the end of April going into May? What else does Libra need to know here? Five of Swords and Eight of Cups. Empress to the uh, Nine of Swords. And then we have the Knight of Cups to the Page of Swords. It seems like you're dealing with a lot of people here. Okay, they have the Seven of Cups and then the Eight of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Whatever this is, you know, I feel like, you know, this situation is really keeping you sort of stuck in your head because I feel like you're confused about something here or that you're confused with these people that are telling you things, okay? Uh, maybe make, giving you mixed signals. It could be going back to dating these people or that you could be dealing with, you know, maybe this job offer that is giving you sort of like mixed messages or that something was not clear. Maybe something was mentioned uh, during an interview and then, you know, uh, maybe, um, you know, what was not mentioned during an interview was mentioned in the offer letter. So something is not clear here, okay? Uh, perhaps, you know, maybe the job description, uh, maybe they added a few more things here uh, that, you, you know, it's something that you're not signing up for that you, you, were, you were not aware of. Uh, we have the Five of Swords here and the Eight of Cups. Seems like you're walking away. Walking away from conflict, walking away from games here, walking away from people that are creating conflict in your life. Uh, we have the Empress here and the Nine of Swords. So this is you right here, um, Libra. This is you stressed out. This is you incredibly stressed out. I just feel like Libra, you just don't have any time for this. We have the Knight of Cups and then the Page of Swords here. I do feel like you're dealing with a couple of people here regarding uh, perhaps uh, some uh, prospective romantic prospects here. And the thing is, I feel like these individuals are really young. Uh, they're just not what you're looking for. You know, I feel like maybe a lot of these people communicate in code, okay? Or that they communicate in like, uh, you know, a weird young lingo or something like that, that you're not used to, okay? Uh, tell me about the Five of Swords here. Why is the Five of Swords here? Five of Swords. Okay, we have the Magician here, Gemini Virgo. Eight of Cups, and then we have the Seven of Wands here. You know, I feel like to protect yourself, I feel like you're stepping away from all this confusion here. That's what I'm getting, okay? I feel like the, a lot of people that you're dealing with here, it seems like they're really unclear about maybe their intentions, their feelings towards you. Uh, I feel like it, per, perhaps with the Magician card, you, I feel like you're being manipulated by these people, okay? And it just seems like you don't have time for that. Uh, tell me about the Empress. Okay, we have the Six of Swords. Yeah, you're moving to calmer waters here. Nine of Swords and the Five of Cups. Oh, so Libra. You could be possibly trying to escape from this. There's just so much stress, so much anxiety, perhaps sleepless nights that someone here could be drinking themselves to sleep or something like that. Okay, because I'm getting like a lightheadedness. I'm getting someone here kind of floating, okay? Some sort of, a bit of airiness here, okay? I, I feel like the best thing to do in these situations is to really ground yourself. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. The Devil, Capricorn Energy, Page of Swords, and then the Ace of Cups here. There is new love here. There is new love here, but I feel like you might be dealing with someone here, to here that's really toxic, or maybe a couple of people here. Yeah, I just feel like... Well, I could hear yourself saying that, you know, I'm an empress. I just don't have time for this BS. We have the Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Seems like, uh, seems like whoever this person that you're dealing with or whoever these people you're, that you're dealing with, they're coming at you in many different directions. And I feel like you can't keep up or that you're overwhelmed by these individuals. Because whoever these individuals are, I feel like they might have too much energy for you too. Okay? So, Libra.
Hope this was helpful. Hope this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video if you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks guys. Bye.